And justice for Marley is justice for all. We don't want this to happen to anybody else. I don't want none of your mother out of here to feel the pain I'm feeling because it's not a good pain. I go to, I don't sleep at night. I don't eat anymore like I used to. I'm looking at the window at night looking for my son. Thinking he's gonna come home, he's not. I don't want anybody here to do the same that I'm doing because it's hard. It's very hard. And I'm, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for coming out here and supporting me and my family in this fight. And it's, I know it's a long road and it's going to be a hectic fight, but I'm prepared to fight the NYPD and I hope all of you standing here today is with me. And we will Richard. win this case. Rich Hayes will go to jail for what he did to my son. Yes. Yes. No justice. No peace. 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 No racism. Police. No justice. No peace. No racism. Police. We're gonna hear from the father now, Frank. Good afternoon, man. Thanks for coming out, like you've always done, and supporting us. It's been a difficult <laughs> for us. You know, just thinking last year this time, my son was taking his last Put that flash down, you don't really need it. Was taking his last full breath, and no fault of his own, but because we got people that we are paying to abuse us physically, mentally, verbally, and then kill us. Ramali was a decent kid, a normal 18 years old, who had his whole life ahead of him. But just because of people who shouldn't have been in our police department, got there, don't ask me why or how, because I didn't put him there. And now, we are here one year later, saying, Oh, sorry we are, but we are not going to let them get over on us, and this one or any other one. The challenge that we face is, is great, because we are fighting so no other parent will have to go through this. But there is no guarantee that it's going to stop, because the people who manages the police department is not telling them to stop. So, what are we gonna do? I'm not a politician, but I hope everyone here realize this year is a very important year because we have people going up, or people who want to be the next mayor. We shouldn't ask them what can they do for us? What can we do for them? We should tell them what we want them to do for us. Yeah, that's right, that's right. And how do we do that? We vote. We go out there and make our mark count. We vote for the people who we think best will serve us. Again, I want to say thank you all. I know that it's very cold. A lot of you could have been doing other things, and we appreciate you coming out. From the bottom of my heart, my whole family, Constant family, the people of the Bronx, the people of this great city, because there's nothing wrong with this city. It's a, some individual. It's a good city, it's a great city. So we're not going to blame anything in New York City. It's the people. We have to blame some of the people who is inflicting this wound on us on a yearly basis. Last year it was monthly. So again, thank you, and I appreciate everything. And it doesn't stop here. When we leave here, we are going to march to the precinct, and from the precinct, we are going to go back to Crawford Memorial Church, where Ramali Funeral was, and we are going to have a service. So we have a whole day ahead of us. I hope you are here for the whole duration of it, because we are going to let our voice be heard. And when we talk about voice, I have a voice that I think you all are accustomed to. And this is someone who I respect a lot. And I wanted to say a few words. Again, thanks everyone.
I want to also thank my attorney, Mr. Raj Russell, who's here with us. Yeah. Appreciate everything that you're doing for us. But most of all, I want you to clap yourself. That's right. Let's hear it. Everybody clap. clap. Yourself. Yeah. Show the love. <laughs> I just want to let everybody know we have a couple of family here also that lost their child. We have Miss um, Robinson here, her son was Tamon Robinson. And we have Miss Eileen Pearson back there, her son was Tamon Robinson. We have Chantel Davis's sister over here. And we got a couple of other families coming. So we just want to yeah. let them know we thank them for coming out. We thank them for coming out because we know the struggle they're going through also. We would like to, can you come back here please? All I know the all the family that lost their child. Nicholas Haywood, come on up. I've seen you. Come on over here. Come on, you don't have to be shy. That's talking about keeping Kelly. She should go too. <laughs> Oh, so brothers and sisters, we come up here for the Ramali Graham family to say that yes, we want justice and we want it now. We don't want no long drawn out trial. And when they file for their civil suit, just like the Central Park Five, settle it out of court. Pay them for the murder of their children. And our people should not be able to walk through these streets. We should not let business go on as usual when they continue to murder us. Right. We've been a very, very resilient people. We've been a very restrained people. But I say this, and I'll say it over and over again. We're not going to continue to bleed without any consequences. Exactly. We're not the only ones that can go to funerals. And we need to let people know that we're not going to keep taking our babies off this planet. A black life is just as valuable as any other life. You can't talk about banning guns. And my heartfelt condolences goes out for the 20 little babies that died in Newtown, Connecticut, and the six adults that died with them. My heart goes out for them. But 465 people died in Chicago, black and brown. And 62 of them were babies, school-age babies. Where are the tears, Mr. President? Where are the gun control for the handguns in Chicago in our communities? Where is the battle against violence, poverty, unemployment? You want to stop violence in our neighborhoods? Then after you ban assault weapons, launch an assault on poverty. Launch an assault on unemployment. Launch an assault on racism. Launch an assault on capitalism. The things that's keeping us down. So I want to say to all, while they're mourning Mayor Koch today, condolences to his family, but he was a problem for our community too. And I know people like so. My mama told me, if you don't have anything nice to say about the deceased, don't say anything. So I'll leave my comments there. Because I believe that all life is precious. And they can't just highlight one ethnic groups life and not the others so we believe in ourselves and we're gonna there's gonna come a day where business is not gonna be able to go on as usual in this town when you're killing us and to us we have to stop killing ourselves as well we cannot be our own worst enemy Absolutely. We have to stop the internalization of our oppression and engage in self-destructive behavior. We have to worry about the police and blue suits killing us and brothers in blue jeans killing us. Those days have to stop and we have to unite as a people and make sure that justice comes to all families whose lives were lost by those who we pay to protect us. If we pay you to protect us, then you should not be taking our lives. And we're not gonna take it much longer. We've marched, we prayed, we boycotted, we sat in, we stood in by 
any means necessary, we're going to have to protect ourselves from those who have no intention other than to murder us. Right. So on this day, for Ramali and the family, I pledge my continued support. But they better listen to us while we're doing it the right way. They need to listen to us when we're marching peacefully. Because it seems like no matter what you do, if you're the Prince of Peace, Martin Luther King, they assassinate you. That's if you're the father of self-defense and black nationalism, Malcolm X, they assassinate you. Amen. So we got to be able to stand up and say we're going to fight like our ancestors for what is right, and that is peace. Be able to walk through our communities without being racially profiling. It's not stop and frisk, it's racial profiling. You can't stop us because we're black and you're racist. That has to stop. Justice for Ramali, justice for all those who went down. Power to the people. Power to the people! No justice! No peace! 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 No racist! Police! No racist! Police! What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Justice! When we want it! Now! When we want it! Now! Thanks a lot. Listen, her child got murdered, right? We're not just trying to save your child. Someone else in her family could get killed again. It can happen to the same family twice. We're not out here to play. And like I say all the time, there's hundreds of people out here. I'd rather have 10 people that's willing to march 100 days than 100 people that's willing to march 10 days. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice. No peace. No peace. No peace.